So, in honor of James Gunn's Suicide Squad movie, Nando V Movies decided to gather a bunch of YouTubers to talk about their villainous scene. Scenes that scream pure evil or speaks to you in a villainous way. So, I chose to join in and talk about my own personal villainous scene. I'm also working on my excellent and excruciating scene as well. So, if you're interested in seeing that video, then be on the lookout for it. Now, I had so many villainous scenes that I wanted to talk about. I was thinking about talking about the Madara scene from the fourth Great Ninja War. I was thinking of talking about Klaus Michael scene from the originals. And I almost chose to talk about the Big Man scene from the Spectacular Spider-Man. But somebody already talked about it. I'm watching you, Super Frame. I'm watching you. However, I was finally able to find one, the one that genuinely spoke to me from a villainous standpoint. So if you're interested in knowing what that scene is, then stick around for the rest of the video. Justice League Unlimited is one of the best cartoons that DC has ever made. And to me personally, it's my favorite cartoon. There are so many good and awesome moments and the series genuinely makes you feel good about watching a superhero show. However, there's an episode in this animated series that doesn't give you the same feeling. And moving forward after this episode, you start to look at things from a different perspective. That episode is called Clash. And it was in this episode where I was able to find my own personal villainous scene. I never knew you had such a sentimental streak, Lex. Oh, there's so much about me you don't know, Superman. Lex freaking Luthor. It always has to be this scary man. Lex Luthor to me is the best villain in all of DC Comics. And yes, that includes villains like the Joker and Darkseid. And some of the factors that makes him scary to me is in this particular episode. So the episode begins with supervillains trying to take over the world. They've even laid waste to some of the heroes and they need Superman's help to stop these villains. But instead, Shazam swoops in and saves the day off screen. Now, Shazam is so happy to be a part of the Justice League. It's almost like a dream come true for Shazam. And he finally gets to meet Superman, his biggest fan. I'm Captain Marvel, sir, and it is an honor. You're my biggest fan. Excuse me. Quick side note, why the hell was Superman a bit off in this scene? In fact, why was Superman in a bad mood for most of the episode? I don't know. Maybe Lois Lane didn't give him some damn warning. Anyways, so Lois and the rest of the press approach Shazam and they decided to question him on why he's so happy to be a part of the Justice League. And Shazam says this. But they really make a difference. They change the world. How so? Well, just look at Lex Luthor. He used to be a supervillain for Pete's sake and now he's one of the good guys. I think it's terrific that he's running for president, don't you? Uh. Now, this establishes that for a long time Lex has been a good guy. He's been doing charities, he's been donating. Overall, he's just been helping people like any generous rich guy would. And later on in the episode, he was going to do a charity event and he wanted Superman to be there. Now, Superman obviously doesn't trust him, even when he says he's turned over a new leaf. And this, Lex Luthor knows very well. He's the most arrogant human being on the planet. He wants us to know. After some advice from Batman, Superman decided to go to the charity event to keep an eye on Lex Luthor and see if he does anything stupid or to see if something goes wrong during the charity event. Now, Lex Luthor knows that Superman is obviously watching and hearing his every move during the event. So he used that opportunity to say this. Device is in place. T minus six minutes. Excellent. Make sure my escape route is secure. And this obviously makes Superman panics. And the first thing that Superman thinks is that there's a bomb that needs to be stopped. He's obviously not thinking straight. And he chose to call to action because after all, it's a Lex Luthor's event. Lex then tells Superman in front of the press that it's not a bomb that is underground, but instead a device that helps the charity event. But obviously Superman isn't listening to Lex Luthor. Now Shazam comes in and he decided to talk some sense into Superman, but Superman isn't having it as well and they both decided to clash. Hey, that's the name of the show. And while Shazam was able to throw some punches, Superman goes ahead to give him the absolute beat down of his life. And he was also able to successfully destroy the device. But then Natom comes in and then said that what Lex said about the device was absolutely true. 
and this made Shazam lose faith in Superman because of the way he acted and he chose to quit the Justice League because he felt like they weren't acting like heroes anymore. You don't act like heroes anymore. But then this scene happens. The plan worked better than I'd hoped. All I wanted was for Superman to destroy the energy source. But battling Captain Marvel? Demolishing Lexor City while those media morons filmed every horrific moment? It was more than I ever could have hoped for. Everything's going according to plan. You just had to be here, didn't you? You evil woman. The point I'm trying to make is that in this particular scene, Lex played the long game. For a long time, Lex hadn't done anything evil or villainous. And the reason he chose not to do anything for a long time is so that when he finally strikes, no one will see it coming. And no one will suspect that he had any part in it. He waited for the right time to strike and when that right time presented itself, he did not hesitate to take it. As a result of his evil manipulation, Shizen went from saying this. Like I've waited my whole life for this. I mean, being on the same team with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. I still can't believe they actually let me join. To saying this. A symbol. And that's why I'm quitting the Justice League. You don't act like heroes anymore. And the worst thing was that making Shazam lose faith in Superman wasn't even the main plan. That was just the icing on the cake. The main plan was for the press to see Superman in a violent and reckless manner, while he acted like the innocent and humble person in this situation. And no one was ever going to suspect him because for a long time he hadn't done anything evil. Lex played the long game and it paid well for him. And moving forward into further episodes, it only got worse from here on because it was just the beginning of his master plan. And all this is all thanks to the brilliant voice acting by Clancy Brown. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Lex Luthor won at the end of the episode. Not only was he able to make the press see Superman the same way that he sees Superman, but he also made Shazam lose faith in his biggest hero and quit the Justice League. What became a dream come true for Shazam ended up becoming a literal nightmare at the end of the episode. And this was all thanks to Lex Luthor's master plan. And that's why this is my own personal villainous scene. Anyways, what would your own villainous scene be? Go ahead and make a video about it and send it to Nando V Movies. If you guys don't want to make a video about your own villainous scene, you can go ahead and let me know what it would be down in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.